be at his essay this is high priestess yashodara singh welcome viewer welcome to the last week of july this is the week where we are going to cover from the 22nd of july to the 31st of july we'll have the central theme of the month first and then we'll have the general deck the health the wealth and the relationship deck so let me show you what the central theme is for you for the last week of july from 22nd to 31st you have two of forces the willow card nandi the bull and nothing is yet set in stone a beautiful beautiful way to end the month so the willow um, it's uh, one of my daughter's favorite trees it's called the weeping willow and uh, if you notice if you look at the card carefully there is a light emanating from the from uh, all around the tree um, this is actually a term called komorebi k o m o r e b i google it and you know what it means um so the illuminated tree is actually symbolic of some kind of a very important life lesson that you will learn don't underestimate it don't undermine it and uh, well if you if you're writing a journal then please write it down and if you can share it nothing like it right i always like sharing good stuff so that's happening in the last week for you nandi the bull uh, we all know uh, the worshipers of uh, bolenath lord shiva know how important nandi the bull is it is said that if you whisper in uh, his ear uh, in nandi the bull's ear then uh, uh, whatever you ask for comes to as long as it harms no one you are being asked to be patient right and you are being asked to um be patient with yourself do a little bit of meditation and uh, that is how you can clear the energy around you and gain success nothing is yet set in stone looks like you are losing heart in something don't lose heart in it let people say what they want to if you feel that something can be worked on work on your energy discipline yourself fix what needs to be fixed and get cracking okay don't listen to other people just because um you feel like they have the right to define you no if you feel that this is the path you need to walk then please go ahead and walk it all right let's see what we have for you in the general uh section you've pulled out the nine of visions or the nine of cups the world card the justice card you have the blessings of the angels already two out of four cards are major arcana and the six of wands that's a beautiful beautiful deck nine of visions tells me that uh this is similar to the nine of cups card of the rider weight deck this tells me that a primary wish of yours is going to be fulfilled so something that you've been wanting for a very long time and you've almost reached it and then come back almost reached it and then come two steps back you finally get it congratulations and don't forget to share the good news okay the world card tells me that uh, either a cycle has come to an end or a new cycle in your life is about to begin either which way is this card also means that uh, you need to check your karmic baggage if you haven't had it released please have it done now justice card tells me that you could be a libra dealing with one this card also says you need to look at the legal aspect of uh, your life if there is a if there is any court related litigation or etc that uh, you are supposed to get into or you already into it will be ruled in your favor this card also means that take a look and ensure that you pay your taxes law of the land that's what the card is here to tell you about that pay attention to this aspect of your life and the 6 of wands a card that we use very often in spell casting this card says that you have that you are now in a position of victory something that you've worked towards you've gotten it probably it's the 9 of cups that you've gotten so you've got your victory enjoy it don't shy away from it celebrate it enjoy the high vibe and take this high vibe forward and get more good stuff in your life all right okay let's move on to the second deck this is the deck of we- uh, health you've pulled out the five of spells or the five of wands the three of coins or the three of pentacles the three of cups and the five of wands so five and three seem to be an important two important numbers for you in the uh, in the health section let's move five of spells or five of wands so you uh, you have taken a decision and uh, it's not supported by the people who you thought would support you because of which uh, you are a little disappointed it's a low vibe 
and this disappointment may take a toll on your health you might be sulking and brooding if you are going to have a low vibe snap out of it pull yourself up do what is necessary but get yourself up to a level where your vibrational frequency stays at a higher level and only then will you be able to get good things in your life otherwise the, your health goes for a toss and all the good stuff that's supposed to come to you will also go for a toss and you don't want that right three of coins three of pentacles so there is some money offer that uh, say a job promotion or a business investment buying selling there is some money related issue which is making you a little tense a little restless take a few um deep breaths meditate um you need to calm yourself down de-stress yourself go for a walk um you know watch something but divert your mind elsewhere because if this if it affects your <coughs> health it will affect your frequency low frequency that thing will slow down in speed and you don't want that three of cups tells me that there will be a celebration that you will be either attending or conducting either which ways don't shy away from me uh, don't shy away from this particular thing because this looks like a little party that sort of a celebration this is a very good vibe go ahead enjoy it this will be good for health five of wands um very similar to the first card that you pulled out here so this is something that's happening for sure in your life viewer uh, because this is a double card both the cards have the same meaning um so yeah if there is something that makes you feel that you know why can't why can't the people who i love support me uh then probably you need to really think over whether the step that you have taken is something that is really worth it or not is the risk worth it if you say yes and please go ahead and if you say no talk it out and see if there can be there's nothing better than communicating right but don't let it affect your health don't go sleepless nights over this okay let's now move on to the wealth section you've pulled out the six of visions or the six of cups the page of cups the temperance card and the knight of swords um i see some of you are emotional about money remember we've spoken about this logic is money and emotions are feelings don't mix the book mix the two of them six of cups tells me that somebody from your past may come into your present and uh you might want to help them out in terms of money or they might ask you for monetary help financial help or something like that uh be careful is all i'll say you might be a little nostalgic because you feel that your financial responsibilities are much more now than earlier snap out of it because uh, being an adult you have to be responsible for every aspect of your life including taking care of yourself and those who are dependent on you the page of cups tells me that you will be sending out an emotional message or getting one um i have a feeling that some of you might um uh, be either asking for help or giving out help remember the age old saying neither a lender or a borrower be that's actually the truth you should never do that because it goes against blue magic and if you have done it please have a blue magic reversal spell done get in touch with us and let me see if i can fit you in the temperance card tells me that you could be a sagittarian or dealing with one this card also says that there is something that is disbalanced in your life because of which you're not seeing financial progress as well as you should figure out what it is and fix it it is fixable only if you balance it out uh, maybe you're spending more than you should maybe you're saving for all the wrong reasons uh, maybe you are your expenditure is more than your income uh you know loans etc are not being prioritized figure it out okay we all are unique we all work in a particular way knight of swords in a situation where you feel should you move forward should you stay static or should you change your course you're being asked to charge ahead with no fear so in the financial aspect of your life if you're looking for a job if you're looking for a better bank balance if you're looking for a um better investment opportunity <clears throat> business investment anything buying selling you're being asked to charge ahead with no fear and the last deck this is for the relationships for the last week of july you've pulled out the folly card or the tower card the knight of swords 
the sun card and the page of wands so the folly card tells me that uh, this is similar to the tower card of the right away deck this card says that something that you were expecting to end will end earlier than what you had you know given time to initially it will feel a little like the ground beneath your feet has shifted once you've gained your balance and try and see if you can do it as quick as you can tell yourself that what doesn't kill you just makes you stronger so hang in there this is going to be a life lesson it may be a little difficult but it will be a good thing for you it will work out eventually knight of swords in a situation where you're wondering should you should you not you're being asked to charge ahead with no fear in terms of your relationship it could be any relationship the sun card so it looks like for those of you who are trying for a child you might might conceive for those of you who have uh, been carrying a baby now you could be giving birth to one and this card also means that uh, there is a positive outcome that you can look forward to in your relationship and if you're wondering about a question in terms of your relationship is it yes or no it is a yes and it's a good yes it's not a bad yes and the last card you have the page of wands this card says that you are going to be receiving or giving out a creative message in terms of your relationship and this is something that is going to be ruled in your favor your youthful vibrational frequency will definitely be something that will pull you through and make you shine all right that's all i have for you for the month of july i will see you in the month of august take care of yourselves let me know how your month went until then love light and knowledge to you all be at his essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam